Back after a dry summer, it's raining again, and time to continue the jump trail. So we left off where it was pretty much bone dry, just built a little just straight launch here to basically a natural downslope right there. And there's going to be a proper double here. So this is where I'm going to pick up again. So what I want to do is turn this into about a 16 foot gap poppy jump, as is the theme of the trail, poppiness. Um, but I might run into problems. I can't move the lip back because it's already really close to that corner. So I'm going to make this probably a little bit steeper at least. But then the landing is what I need to do some exploratory digging and find out about because it has a natural slope here, but that's really close. This is like eight or nine feet from the lip. The 16 foot mark is right, right here almost near the end of the slope, so I'd have to move, either move all this dirt over, which might work. I already tested a little bit. It's, you can see how dry it still is, even though it's been dumping rain. It just was so dry all summer. It's going to take a lot more rain to get everything really wet, but I can start digging. So either do that, or do that and a combination of dig down a transition here, but I'm pretty sure Right around here, I'm going to start hitting roots. Like, there's some roots there. We're really close to trees, so we're probably not going to be able to carve out a full transition to the next lip. So, I'll probably have to make this jump a little bit lower than I would want to, just because of the, the environment I've ended up in. And this is going to turn slightly to the left here and veer off from where it rejoins Cookie Dough, the Loam Trail. And right about here is about the 32 foot mark um, from previous landing to the next lip. So if this was a transition, it would be a constant curvature all the way to this, and this would be the peak of the next lip. And then we're gonna have, you know, maybe a 17 foot jump next. And we should be able to carve a lot of transition here. There's, the trees are pretty far away, but we'll find out what's going on under there when I get all this clear it away and, and start digging. So anyways, for now, I'm going to start uh, seeing if I can move some of that mound this way to get a good gap for the jump and uh, see if maybe I can, maybe I can dig down a little bit here for a little transition too. Maybe there's just a few roots there and it won't be a big deal. So uh, yeah, time to do some digging. I got this landing piled up, almost done. It still hasn't rained since uh, before I came up here, so I'm not gonna build up the lip anymore. Right now I'm gonna wait till it rains and gets the dirt gets really saturated so I can, you know, chop it up and pack it up properly. I'm gonna put a few more logs that Davey cut up and uh, build up the, the deck on this landing. It turned into a pretty decently big landing. And then I dug down here, cut through some roots to make this continue down from the landing instead of having an abrupt slight uphill. And Davey did a bunch of clearing, a bunch of log cutting and clearing up ahead. So originally I thought I would have another lip here um, and then a landing like 16, 17 feet. But those trees are real close to each other. So I think there'll be roots if I try to dig a transition through there. So I'm gonna put a roller in here, like hip roller, and then a dip down into a lip before this circle of trees. So we'll have like a 17 foot jump 
over this tree patch and a landing right on top of here where there'll probably be a bunch of roots. And then we'll dig down again, dig a transition down. Hopefully there won't be too many surprises under there. And then about 35 feet of transition to another lip here. And then going into this mound, I originally thought this mound would make for some good kind of hip, or it's almost already a jump if you would come from a line down there, but that line is like a corridor of trees right next to each other, so it would be really hard to dig anything. So instead, this is going to be a banked transition, like a berm with a landing in and a jump out. So jump from here, land into the banked transition, about like... 20 feet so it won't be real deep or steep and then pop out to a step down and there's already a natural landing here about another 17 feet down and then I'll do a bank a berm into an S turn and down that way and then once we get through that uh, bit of brush I've already macheted out down there it starts opening up to uh, kind of the main where area that I'd walked like a year ago and got real excited about. And that's actually going to be the main part of the trail. So that's where things are going to get uh, a little bit bigger and bigger and more opened up. But uh, I'll press on with uh, finishing up that landing and getting on to the next roller. <laughs> 